Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about nomenclature. Essentially, how to write the IUPAC name and common name of aldehydes and ketones. Let's first see how to write the common name of aldehydes. Common name of aldehyde is derived by replacing simply the oic acid of a corresponding carboxylic acid with aldehyde. For example, here we have C6H5CHO which is benzaldehyde. Now this particular common name is obtained by replacing the oic acid of the corresponding carboxylic acid which is benzoic acid. Similarly, here we have beta bromo aldehyde which is obtained by replacing the ic acid of the corresponding carboxylic acid which is beta bromo acid. You can also see another example which is acetaldehyde which is CH3CHO and the corresponding acid is acetic acid CH3COOH. Let's now see how to write the common name of ketones. Now in case of ketones, the name is derived by naming the two alkyl or two aryl groups attached to the carbonyl group. So as you can see, if you have a ketone like CH3, COCH3, then you can see that two methyl groups are attached to the carbonyl group. In that case, this particular ketone would be called dimethyl ketone. Another important thing to note here is that several ketones have historical common name. For example, dimethyl ketone is more commonly called acetone, which is also accepted. Now you can see that if we replace methyl with an ethyl group, in that case the common name would be ethyl methyl ketone. Now also important to note here is that in case of alkyl phenyl ketones, the common name is obtained by adding acyl group as a prefix. Note it if we are writing the acyl group as a prefix to phenone. For example, here we have C6H5COCH3 and the common name of this would be acetophenone. As you can see, CH3CO is a acyl group and we are writing it as a prefix. So that becomes acetophenone. Now in this case, we can see that this would be propiophenone because we have three carbon atoms and in this case, it would be benzophenone as this would be the benzo group and this would be the name of this corresponding structure. Let's now see how to write the IUPAC name of aldehydes and ketones. So IUPAC names will be simply obtained by replacing the E of alkanes with Al for aldehyde and O for ketones. You can see that for aldehydes the numbering is done from the carbon of the CHO group or the aldehyde group. So you can also see that in case of ketones the numbering begins from the end which is closer to the C double bond group. In case of cyclic ketones, carbonyl carbon is numbered 1. So these are very important to remember when you are writing the IUPAC names of aldehydes and ketones. Also important is when CHO group is attached to a ring. In that case, the suffix carbaldehyde is added to the full name of the corresponding cycloalkane. For example, here we have the simplest aromatic aldehyde which is benzene carbaldehyde. As you can see, the structure of that would be benzene with a CHO group attached. But we also know that benzene carbaldehyde is more commonly called benzaldehyde. Now benzaldehyde is also accepted for IUPAC nomenclature. So as you can see, any substituted compounds would be similarly called substituted benzaldehydes. Now that we have learned the several rules for writing common name and IUPAC name of various aldehydes and ketones, let us go through a few examples. So the first structure is given here and the corresponding IUPAC name of this particular structure would be 2-bromo-5-methyl-hex-3-in-1-al. So we know that when we have an aldehyde, the numbering is done from the carbon of the aldehyde group. So accordingly, the numbering would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and you can see that bromine is at C2 position and methyl is at C5 position. Therefore, this would be 2 bromo 5 methyl Bromine comes before methyl because it proceeds alphabetically and there is a 6 carbon atom therefore it becomes hex 3 in because 3 is the position of the double bond and this would be hex 3 in 1 al or you can simply write it as hex 3 in al because as we know that CHO group is always given number 1 in the numbering. Let us now go to the second compound which is CH3 CH double bond CHCHO. Here again the numbering begins from the carbon of the aldehyde group that would be 1, 2, 3 and 4 and you can see that the IUPAC name would be simply but2enal or but2en1al if we want to specify 
again the position of CHO which is always 1. Let's now go to the third structure. Here we have a cyclohexane attached to a CHO group. Therefore, the IUPAC name would be simply cyclohexane carbaldehyde. Let's look at a few more examples. Now, in this structure, you have two methyl groups and if you try to name, we know that while numbering in ketones, the numbering is done from the end which is closer to the C double bond o group. In this case, if you number from this side or this side, it does not make a difference because C double bond position is at the same number. For example, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and if you name from this side also, CO is at the third position. Now, the IUPAC name would be simply 2,4-dimethyl pentan 3 ohm because obviously C double bond is at the third position. Let's now look at the second structure. Here we have CHO, CH2, CH, CHO, CH2, CHO. That is there are three CHO groups attached and this is a, if you look at the main chain, this is propane. So the IUPAC name would be simply propane 1, 2, 3 tricarbaldehyde because you have three CHO groups here. Now let's look at the last structure as you can see. In this structure you have both C double bond as well as an aldehyde group. Again it doesn't matter because the numbering will start from the carbon of the aldehyde group and therefore it would be 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and the IUPAC name would be simply 3 oxo penten 1 al or penten al. We know from a previous knowledge that when C double bond o acts as a substituent in that case you say it is oxo and therefore since it is at 3 position or the third carbon IUPAC name would be simply 3 oxo penten al. I hope you are very clear on how to write the common name and IUPAC name of various aldehydes and ketones. Thank you.